the new best SMG to be rocking in Black Ops 6, the Tanto. So back in weekend two of the Black Ops 6 beta, we got introduced to a new SMG by the out. name of the Tanto. And for the one weekend that we had it, this thing was absolutely there we go. There's dominating the, like, the really... beta of Black Ops 6. So we decided to now, put this thing on and this thing is still be, uh, broken in the official the release. We also ended up unlocking Dark Matter for the first time in today's video. So I'm going to put that at the beginning. But if you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. I just want to give a quick shout out to my Nodi gang with all that being said. But I get running into it and I hope you guys do enjoy. Oh my god, okay. Alright, this is it. 32 out of 33 guns for Dark Matter, dude. We're right freaking there. After a week of grinding, we're finally about to unlock Dark Matter in Black Ops 6. It took us a whole week. This was the first time that I've ever camo grinded something to where I had work or something to do for so many hours. Like, a lot of this camo grind was done behind the scenes while i was working bro so i mean this has been a long time coming i for sure oh my god that should be it wait so now all i gotta do is where's my tanto all right now we have to get five times without dying three times and then we should have dark matter now i'm pretty sure this is bugged so we're gonna see how accurate it really is in just one moment Let's see, that makes two. It should be very easy since we're in hardcore. Like, very, very easy. <laughs> this has been a freaking grind, man. I couldn't imagine how long this grind would take if I had to level up my guns. I honestly think they should do this every year. This system worked really well this year. Like, it gives people plenty of time to get the camos before Warzone drops. And then... You have the chance to have your guns looking nice before they're even maxed out. So I personally think that they should do this every year. Let me know what you guys think about this year's camo grind. Do you guys feel like it's too easy? Do you guys feel like it's just right? Do you guys think that they should do this system every year? That should be it. Dark Matter. Give it to me. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Let's see how Dark Matter looks in Black Ops 6. Here's it in the main menu. You know what? I'm not even... I'm just going to apply it to the blueprints right now. I'm getting excited. I'm just going to apply it to the blueprints. And we're not going to see it until we're in an actual custom game. All right. We're going to do the dark first. The dark hallway. Oh, my God. Yes, dude. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Yo. That looks insane, bro. All right. Now, let's take a look at the Tanto. Oh my god, this looks freaking insane, dude. I mean, it already looks so good in the light, but I feel like you're not really doing it justice unless you're inspecting in the dark because look at this, man. And then, of course, you know, we got to do the jackal, the thing that took over the beta. You know what I mean? This thing looks insane. And then, of course, we got to inspect it in the dark, dude. This is insane how I already have Dark Matter, dude. All right, now, even though we unlocked Dark Matter, let's not forget that this is, of course, a Tanto video. So let's go ahead and hop in and get a nuke with Dark Matter on our Tanto. Let's freaking go, man. All right, Dark Matter on the Tanto. Let's freaking go. Let's see if we could drop a little nuke with this thing. Any AFKs? Nope. all right dude let me know what you guys think of dark matter in the comments like do you guys like dark matter do you guys think that it's it's mid because I, I have a few people out there who think that dark matter is one of the best camos in the game which i mean for me personally i've always been a treyarch fan so i think dark matter is the best mastery camo in the game with diamond also following that um but i also know a few people out there who like simple camos a lot better so like some people even like things like forged camo some people like things like damascus so i just kind of want to see what type of demographic i got in my comment section do you guys like the modern warfare franchise more do we like infinity ward more uh treyarch like, i just want to see what type of fashion and style you guys are because i i would like to think that i have a very big treyarch lover demographic but i just really want to see the actual numbers so you guys just let me know down in the comments what you guys like because I really do want to know. Oh, 
Yeah, I really do want to know. All right, we got the harp up. Do I didn't get this harp pop? Okay. I wonder if the harp is still broken. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure the harp is still broken. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the harp is still broken, but I'm not 100% sure. And they shot that thing down hella fast. They were not having it. Alright, that's 22. Alright. All right, let's Hard rotate point around this way. Point. Point, oh. 25. We need a UAV, but if not, I think we could just hold out. Hard point Sniper has been punished. There we go. There's the nuke. Let's go, baby. Dude, Tanto is broken. Like, really. It really is. We got the nukes early in the game, too. We can go for a double if we end up dying off of it. Dude. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Is this the type of gameplay that you guys like seeing? Do you guys like seeing aggressive, fast gameplay? Treyarch, Kaelin? Or do you guys like Infinity War type of gameplay? Where it's a little bit more slow, a little bit more tactical. Because I really do want to see what I gear more towards in terms of uh, my community, if it makes sense. Because I know a lot of you guys like Warzone, so I would assume that you guys kind of like a little bit some some sort of slow and tactical. But I could be completely off. Yo, dude, this gun feels so good. Now, this gun's definitely multiplayer meta, but I don't think it's going to be... Uh, Warzone meta. Warzone meta is usually something with a little bit of a faster fire rate. So I don't think that this is going to be hard Warzone meta when Warzone gets integrated. Which, by the way, Warzone is getting integrated very, very soon. Uh, last year, Warzone was released and integrated with Modern Warfare 3 mid-December. This time, it's actually way sooner. We are getting Warzone integration on November 14th. So I'm actually off of work on November 14th, meaning that we will be posting Warzone content. The moment that it comes out, I'm going to be having a live stream up and running. So if you guys want to see Warzone content as soon as it comes out, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn those post notifications on. That way you guys don't miss that. You guys are going to get notified as soon as it uploads. And as soon as the stream starts. I want to make sure that you guys get everything all Warzone, okay? Ah, damn, dude. We just got killed off our streak because I had to reload. Yeah, I want to make sure you guys don't miss out on any content. I also want to really quickly apologize for the kind of inconsistent um, uploading. Like, like I said, I was working while doing this camo grind. So to me, it just was very hard having to um, camo grind while daily uploading. So I uploaded pretty much as much as I could. Now we should be back on the daily uploading grind uh, because all I got to worry about now is just dropping my gameplays, which is fairly easy. So. We're going to be back on the daily upload grind. Every single upload from now on is going to be a double multiplayer upload. So you guys aren't going to have any more nine minute short videos. It's all going to be a very good amount of uh, time. About maybe 15, 20 minutes each. So yeah, we're back guys. All I wanted to do was just make sure that we had dark matter on all of our guns. That that way we could really lock in for Warzone. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. But now that we're all set there. We're going to be flying. Also, let me know if there's any, like, favorite guns that you guys have. I want to see what a lot of you guys are using. You guys using the XM4 a lot. You guys using the Tanto. I just picked up my Dark Matter. Get that off, buddy. I grinded for that. You didn't. I hate when people pick up my Dark Matter, bro. Or, matter of fact, for every single year that I get my Mastery Camo done early, I hate when people pick up my gun. Because it's like, yo, bro, I grinded for that gun. You ain't just about to sit here and, and, and pick it up like if it's yours. You know what I mean? I know that they're just trying to get a look at it, though. I know that they just want to see how it looks and... And they want to feel 
how it feels to have it in their hand but but save that until you know save that until you have the gun fully grinded out why why do you want to hold it right now when you could have it yourself when your guns are fully grinded out also did you guys like the way that the camo system worked out this year that's uh, that's one thing i really wanted to ask did you guys like the way that the camo system worked this year because me personally i loved it i feel like camo shouldn't be something that you need to have every single gun max level for in order to get i think that camos should just be pretty much the exact same way that we did it this year where you can get them unlocked at any level and if you max out your gun after you max out your gun after so i really hope that they continue to keep this going they probably won't because every cod is different every single year but if they decided to keep this the same i would love if they did that it makes the mastery camo grind for people who work so much easier it makes the uh race to it a lot quicker and a lot more uh easy to follow so i think that they should just continue to use this blueprint uh every single year but let me know if you guys feel like you think it's too quick because i know there are some people who say that they feel like the whole beauty of the mastery camo grind is that it takes a long time so i know some people who think no i i don't want it to be a very short grind i want it to be a long tedious grind um so that, that way it really feels worth it you know what i mean so i just want to see how you guys feel about that damn dude we really died right there these spawns for babylon are very very weird i mean look at this they're still spawning in right here even though i'm right here look at this i mean look at it that was horrible spawning yo this these are some weird spawns okay let's call in this and then let's call in our heart because why not how much time do we have left i don't even know how much time we have left all right let's lock in try to go for this double nuke i might have to go silent for this next bit but yeah i want to make sure that we get this double nuke Point Arrow two two with the kill. Ruthless. Arrow two. Training damage. Mission timeline fifty percent. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Arrow two two. We have one minute remaining. Hostiles have neutralized your watchdog helo. Point is secure. No, man. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to drop the nuke. Damn, man. I mean, I would have to really tee the hell up if I were to drop this nuke. Like, really tee the hell up. Like, I'm talking pushing everything. Flawless gunplay. Let's get this back in. identified. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be able to because at this point, I'm already at 120 kills though, so at least there's that. I want to see how if we're not able to get a uh, double nuke I want to see how far we can push this in terms of kills like I really want to see how far we can push this we're at 129 and is that right 129 and 9 that is an insane amount of kills to death ratio yeah that KD ratio is nuts hard point located Oh, also, do you guys think that you guys have gotten accustomed to the Omni movement yet? I want to see where everyone thinks that they are in terms of the Omni movement. Do you guys feel like you guys could be using more of it? Less of it? Are you guys kind of playing the same or any differently than what you guys would have been playing like back in Modern Warfare 2019? Because I feel like for the most part, I almost play the same. It's just little tiny moments here and there where I utilize the Omni movement. But I really do feel like I still got a lot to learn. A lot of time and stuff that I got to do to master it. At least that's me. I feel like I'm the type of person where I feel like there's always something new to learn. And something always there to get better at. So 
that's just how I feel. I'm always going to be that way no matter how good I am, so. Alright, let's call this nuke in. Let's get this nuke called in. GG's. 140 kills and 10 deaths, dude. GG's. With Dark Matter on the Tonto. This thing is broken, man. I still can't believe that. A 14 KD. G freaking G's. Alright, game number two. Like I said, we're going to be doing two gameplays a video. Let's see if we can cook up. Now this is, I would say, a little bit more of an AR map. That relic has always been more of an AR map, but we're still gonna cook up. Watch this. Let's see. Let's let's see how we enter their spawn over here. We're gonna go far back spawn. Pick up a few freebies over here. Yo, aim assist had me locking on to those uh, other people when I didn't even want to go for them. Like really. Okay, we're just gonna back up a little bit. My senses are telling me that they spawned back over here. It just makes the most sense. I already cleared their spawn, so I know that they flipped. You know, we got a lot of uh, what people would call revenge spawns this year. So that's just the way that I'm kind of able to predict it. Footsteps over here. Five kids. I also have my footstep audio preset uploaded onto my OBS. So you guys should be able to hear absolutely everything that I hear. So if you guys at any point ever hear footsteps and you guys are wondering why on your game you cannot hear those footsteps it's because there's only one unique way to get them and it's through having a pc and if you guys want it through console you guys would absolutely have to have a capture card that's the thing because there is a way to get this type of audio on console but you do need a capture card and i know a lot of people are not very willing to get a capture card especially just for some audio like that's basically a hundred dollar audio you know what i mean Oh my god, I felt a nice little breeze, bro. Nice. Damn, that was a little overboard, don't you think? I'm just gonna chill up here, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill up here for a little second, honestly. We got some time. Like, we really do got a little bit of time, so we're just gonna chill right here for now. Uh, hard point is active. Hard point is secure. Alright, we got a harp up. Okay, so now we can move up. I feel confident enough to push up because I got a harp. Um, they flip. Okay, looking out for the fact that they don't spawn on me. Alright, oh my god, dude, my hair keeps on getting on my eye. Thank god I'm getting a cut tomorrow. That doesn't take away this blast trap, right? Okay, it doesn't. So right now, I'm kind of just playing this hard point. I want to catch them on rotation, which is why I put a little bomb thing over there. So I really want to catch them on this rotation. We're on a 22. I just want to secure the nuke, and then I'll start playing aggressive. I always want to just play for the nuke, and then that's when we'll start playing aggressive. So we're going to hit a little flank on them. Oof. Jesus. I didn't think my blast trap was that close. So none of them should be looking at this flank over here. I'm also kind of trying to give you guys like my mindset going into all of this. Because I want you guys to know the way that I think. So maybe you guys can apply it to the way you guys play. So I just forced this to spawn. That wasn't my intention. Teammates were supposed to hold it down. But that's fine. So now they're spawning over there. Yeah, damn. That's bad. We had a really good spot over there. Maybe we shouldn't have flanked. Okay, but they're going to be coming over at this hard point next. So we're just going to row you this way. Once we clear them out. Hard 
point is secure. Yeah, so we're gonna row this way. Because now it's at the point where everyone's rowing to that other hard point. Yep, you see that? So we're always just gonna be playing around the other team. We don't and ever want to be in a position. We don't ever want to put ourselves in a position, guys, where we're gonna be facing the entire team dead on. Now I know if Dude, okay, well, I know that it always looks like that for a lot of YouTubers. That they're just bum rushing, but there is always going to be a thought process behind every single push. No matter what. Because otherwise, there would be no nukes being got gotten. Okay, I'm not mad that that wall panel just fell off. That means in the middle of my gameplay, there's just going to be a little freaking spot. Alright, I heard someone. There we go. That was a little bit risky, I won't lie to you. Oh my god. Alright, we're getting really mixy and uh, risky here. So we're just going to go ahead and get back in high ground. Know where we're in a safe place. Put a blast trap right back down over the stairs. So that way we know that they can't get up. And just play for height. We're two kills off of the nuke. Like I said, we're just playing it safe right now. We're playing for assists. Playing to support our team. Put a blast mine over here. This is scary. I won't lie to you. Where is Bond? We're one kill off the nuke. We should be able to get it. Alright, and they're going to be rotating to us. So I don't see any issue on why we wouldn't be able to get it. Alright, I feel like we're bringing way too much attention. There we go. That was incredibly risky, but we got the nuke. Let's go. We did exactly what we wanted to do. There we go. So now we can start just playing aggressive. Look at this guy. He's trying to do exactly what I was doing. Little does he know, but he's about to get nuked. Little does he know. Dude, this feels so good. I finally get to just enjoy the game. Get to play it, bro. I mean, I've been camo grinding. My life for the past week has just been work, camo grind, work, camo grind. Post every once in a while. Like, it feels so good to actually just be able to play the game. Sweat it out. Like, I haven't been able to just sweat it out in a long time, man. In a long time. So, it feels good to actually play how I want and play like myself. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm so ready to see what Warzone's got in store. I really am. Warzone is going to be a freaking movie this year. Like I said in the first gameplay. Because that was an insane first gameplay. Make sure that you guys drop a sub, man. Because you guys are not going to miss everything that we got planned over here. Like, we got all sorts of stuff planned that you guys wouldn't even want to imagine. We're going to be trying a bunch of new different things this year once we branch out into things. Because I want to try to slowly but surely branch out into things other than just loadout videos. It's not going to be a super common thing in the beginning. But somewhere along the line, I might do videos where I even have you guys build my class setups. Where I play with viewers every once in a while, you know what I mean? So, there's going to be a few changes in the content here and there. Maybe not right off the rip, but somewhere along the line. I want to kind of get you guys a little bit more involved than just saying no D gang for every single comment, you know what I mean? I really want to try to build a family over here, so... I'm talking hopefully soon consistent streams. Things of that nature, you know what I mean? All right, let's pop this UAV. I'm trying to see where these guys are at. I know that they're at A, but where exactly on A? Oh, and then also another big tip that I can give you guys that I noticed that not a lot of people do. Guys, you guys have a lot of information in COD. Like 90% of the time, you guys have information on where the enemy team is, especially in multiplayer. So always go into the gunfight with information of general location. Just think of it as you know the general location of where the enemy is. Use that to go over there and then narrow it down as you gather information. Because I see a lot of the time people are like, oh, how'd you know that that person was there? And it's like, well, first of all, I started off because I knew the general location. As I got closer, I started to hear footsteps and then I was just able to narrow it down from there. So go into every gunfight thinking general location. Because at least for me, that's how every single gunfight starts. Just general location. And then we go from general location to slowly narrowing it down to exact location. And then we just go from there for every single gunfight. Think of every single gunfight as a 1v1. It's 
not a 1v6. It's not a 1v4. It is a bunch of separate 1v1s. That is the secret to every single COD fight. And you will start winning a ton more engagements if you guys start looking at it with that mindset. Stop thinking about the total and the end goal and just take it one step at a time. If you guys do that, things are going to be way easier. If you guys put all that pressure on yourselves right away, it's going to seem impossible. But it's not. They're, they're human. They may be a squad, but they make mistakes just like you and me. All you got to do is get so good to the point where you can take advantage of those um, mistakes that they make. And then once you get that down, that's it. You pounce. Your goal is to become so good at the game that you can almost do everything so fluently that when they make that one mistake, you can just pounce. All right. I really want to close this out. How close am I to nuke? I'm really close to a nuke. There's a double nuke right there. Let's freaking go, guys. We just got a double nuke in the second gameplay. Let's go ahead and call this thing in. And we'll be good. Double nuke for the first game. G freaking G. With Dark Matter on our freaking Tonto. We're back. We're back to daily uploading. We're back to two gameplays a video. Let's go ahead and get right on into the class setup 86 and 3. Insane. All right, guys, and here's going to be the Tanto class setup that we were, of course, rocking in today's video. So, for the most, we're using the suppressor to stay completely undetected by the radar whenever we fire our weapon. We're using the long barrel for some more damage range, extended mag one, so that, that way we get a little bit more ammo, which we're definitely going to need. Quick draw grip for some ADS speed, and then the balance stock for some more aim walking moon speed, moon speed, fire moon speed, and strafing movement speed. So, Give this Tonto class setup a try for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you guys did want to enjoy today's gameplays, I highly recommend you guys go down below and drop a sub with the post notifications bell turned on. That way, you guys don't miss future uploads because you are not going to miss what we have planned here on the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Later. Yeah.